I got to choose the poor area. Circus of Nero was built in here. Well, the remains of the circus are still existing two floors under the pavement of St. Peter's Square. There Peter was killed crucified upside down. There Peter was killed in a very poor way. Then the first church was built, you remember, the one that doesn't exist anymore. And the second one, the one we have been seeing today. Well, as you can see here to the right now, the Pope, so that area is no more the poor area of Rome. But surely it is the one ancient and very picturesque. And look at the bridge on our left that was built exactly by the same Pope who built the Sistine Chapel. So the name is also the same, Chapel Sistine. And here, Bridge Sixtus by the same Pope did the fountain built by the same Pope who built St. Peter facade. And then, if you look on your left, you can start to see the famous island, which is the one that takes the name by the Tiber. So even nowadays, that little island is called Tiberina Island. And as you can see, it got the shape of a little boat. Look at the big white dome to the far left, the uh, quadrangular one, the white one. That is belonging to the Jewish temple, so the synagogue. Because in Rome, there has always been tradition people belonging to the Vatican. What is amazing that the two bridges, you see one here, one on the other side, are still the original ones, 62 BC. So behind the bridge, you can see the facade of St. Bartholomew Church. And if we could dig under the pavement of that ancient church, we will find what the Romans did build more 2,000 years ago, the temple, nowadays the public hospital. And we cross the river, so we go towards the left hand side, and this is why we have to speak right now about it on Palatine. The first one is rectangular, <coughs> and this is the one what used to come to pray, women that could not have children. There it is, you see, columns on top, ionic capitals. Then behind, you got the second one, which is round columns, Corinthian capitals, like a bunch of flowers. Round roof that got a hole in the middle for the smoke. That was the temple called of Vesta that was considered the goddess of the fire. And the eternal fire was symbolizing one day after the other, the eternity of the city of Rome. So there were noble young girls, virgin girls, that had to take care of the eternal fire day and night, one day after the other. So that was a very important goddess symbolizing the power and the eternity of the city of Rome. So now if you want to have the most beautiful shot on ancient Roman remains, you have to be ready because now we turn left. And there you will see the facade of Palatine completely and entirely what you are going to see now will be just plain brick although of course it seems to me that the view is fantastic but use your imagination when all those bricks were entirely hidden by different color marbles there were columns on the side, statues in the niches, mosaic in the pavement. Everything was 
richly decorated. And then what happened? Bit by bit, all the precious materials have been stolen. They took away the columns and the marble to decorate palaces and Christian churches. Now, if you do remember Ben-Hur, the chariot races, look at the valley that you got on your left. So as you can see, nothing is left except the shape. Because once again, the marble seats have been stolen, the central decoration, the seven golden eggs, the seven golden dolphins, all what was in here has been taken away. We have practically reached the Colosseum. So, do not forget your little microphones because we are inside the monument. Then coming out of the Colosseum, we are picking up the same bus. Then listen to I can't understand her action. She's crazy. I can't understand her action. Oh, Ten minutes to the legend. We can go around in ten minutes. Yes, she can.
journey. What's that building? It is on your book. Let me no, show. No, 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 I'll see it right now. Just tell me now. <laughs> uh, it's a double temple built by Emperor Hayes. He's with his mom. Hey. Hey. Get together, ladies. Let's go. Family! Mom doesn't get angry. Get in there, guys. Wait, just sit in the middle. Just go in there. Well, the funniest thing is that you actually have to set the set. Set the set. Okay. Where is he in there? Set the set. I'm not going to wear it. I'm going to keep calling you. I guarantee you, Nick will laugh. Yeah, Nick will laugh. Nick will lose. That's beautiful flowers down there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, it's like two flowers. I I want to sit down on the plate. Hi. Italian people fighting. Andiamo la mare. Andiamo la mare. Okay, you may like to have a very nice shot because we're touring around. You will see the big cracks, big blocks of stones that will keep on falling down after the earthquake. So if you look on your left, you will see that 200 years after the earthquake, the Pope decided to build a brick wall to support what was left of the Colosseum. So look on your left and especially on the very upper part where you see stones were falling down. And the wall was really important to prevent the rest to be destroyed. You see up there on the very top? Oh yeah. Mr. This is the original section, not destroyed by the earthquake, and the other half was exactly the same. What are missing here are all the statues in the niches. The child. So this is indeed one of the four, as we call, patriarchal basilicas. And the one church in here is where was buried Bernini. So when you have seen the colonnade around the square, when you have seen the canopy on top of the papal altar, 
when you will see the fountain in the Piazza Navona, all those masterpieces have been realized by the creator of the Baroque style. Bernini had a very long life. He was here in Rome at the beginning of 1600. The Pope for which he did work had also a very long life. So together they have been working and this is why Rome is decorated by so many masterpieces realized by the artist where the two of the virgin and the child so everything in here dedicated to the virgin and little jesus so now you will see that we are going to stop soon and we will have a little walk to get to the trevi fountain well to use the microphone because when we're there there will be such a a lot of many people in there Trevi if you translate this word Trevi it means Biggest mom in the world. That's what I'm <laughs> um, 
<laughs> his biggest mom, his biggest dome. <laughs> It's such a nice camera, look at that. It doesn't run, you know what I mean? If you do the camera, you know how the other way's cameras run, you know, like picture? It doesn't do that, look at that. I can go as fast, look at that. Get the top. That one? All the way to the top. I did. I did that. The biggest sunroof in the world. Oh, family can like it. Go away, we can like it. Family. Family, let's go. Family, let's go. I got him. Um, I got him smoking on the camera, though. So the Roman soldier smoking. Yeah. 
Ask, ask, ask David Paul. Okay, listen up then, guys. First of all, this very long walk that we've done all day um, is nearly over because we, we're actually not that far away from the restaurant that we're going to. I mean, anything we see from now on is going to be very close to here anyway. The reason why I'm calling you here is this church is a church that not many tourists would normally visit. But I always bring groups to this place because it is what you're going to see inside is incredible. And this is the square of St. Ignatius, and the church is named after St. Ignatius. This is a Jesuit church. All right. Now, as, as I hope the guide explained to you this morning, one of the whole one of the whole points about Catholic art is that it's trying to encourage you to become more religious. So it's like a kind of theatre, it's like a drama. All right. and what the has done inside this church is created this effect, which is like a kind of 3D effect, and in painting it's called trompe l'oeil, which means there is architectural, sculptural, and painting all mixed in to, to create this very, very strange effect. So go inside and have a look at it and tell me what you think.